long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Continues to touch him up. Trying to land that jab. And he scores with the counter. A lot of trash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. That punch landed. who thought this would be a mismatch, you are sorely wrong. Neither one of these fighters want to see the judges' scorecards. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. And we may see a stoppage here. Didn't wait long to get back in and get engaged. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What are they doing? What are they telling when he goes back to the corners? How are they going to get through this? The courage on display here is incredible. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Punch caught him clean. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. Talk about a what? And there's the bell to start the round. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. When you're fighting a counterpuncher, the feint can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're going to punch, make the counterpuncher throw a punch, and then you counter them. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Good punch. Beautiful counterpunch. Changes everything, and down they go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got to pick things up halfway through the round here. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. He's up, but but for how long? Look at him. On the heels, but look at it's not for there. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. He just takes one more clear shot, a clean one, then he's out of there. But now it's about getting back to the corner, freshen up, get new instructions given to you, and they've got to G you up. They've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Final 10 seconds here, and the corner better get warmed up. They've got some work to do. He threw a punch and just got countered. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. Boy, this next round is... They ring the bell, and here we go. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's gotta hustle. He's gotta, he's gotta bluff it. Good counter punching. Walk away from each other and then run right back into trouble. This 
fighter brings a barrage of punches. They won't let you breathe. It's like fighting a hornet's nest. A swarmer, a good swarmer, will get inside you like a, like a bee. Like a bee just picks up and sting you. Wherever you leave yourself open, a swarmer is the worst kind of fight to fight. This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. They both want the knockout. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. He threw a punch and just got countered. in the corner has the white towel. Are they going to throw it and stop this fight? That is a show of character. When you're put down, your regal's hurt, your chin's hurt, your body's hurting. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. The defense failed him. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. You've got to wonder how big of a factor that knockdown's going to be. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Nice counter. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Just missing with the uppercut. Can't find a home for that jab. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Point and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. Well, Johnny, we're a couple. The referee really, really thinking about stopping it. back on his feet, but at some point, you have to think about the next fight and not this one. What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination. Maximum. Final 10 seconds here, and I think the corner's got the tower. They're going to throw it in. And he was, what a nightmare scenario. Every time they throw... Let's talk about Fury in that last round. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knock. And there's the bell to start the round. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coach the round. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. The way the connect percentages have to be off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The referee says we will fight on. Not sure about this one. Look at his corner, look at the instructions. They're telling him to calm down, make the most of the count, get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee, save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. Somehow, get to the end of the round. He's got the advantage halfway through the round. Perfect game plan. The thing is, can anybody figure out what to do to change this? It's a perfect start. Win 
are we going to see a jab from these two? Both men step back for just a moment. Whoa, and you saw the balance go. The knees, the foundation. He takes a knee, buys time, collects himself. That must have really dented the ego. You don't want your opponent to see you do that. been all one way. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. He's been knocked down. They ring the bell and here we go. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything. Full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's gonna happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Well, Johnny, you know, in the lightweight division, they've got fast hands, so get ready to see some lightning. Oh my goodness, so that little Yorkshire Terriers, they're never gonna give up. Not throw out a lazy jab in this fight, you'll get knocked out. And now going for the finish. And it appears they're out of trouble, at least for now. But that just goes to show you one clean punch changes everything. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once, they know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense, work on defense, blocking and stopping and shooting. Pretty close fight here in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. But here we go again, back into the fight. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Nice counter. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. I promise you. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. You know, with lightweights, these guys are going to be lightning quick. Uh, Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? You saw it here live. 